Igwosa Gali erosion in 2019, a potentially helpless situation. A police station, a factory and many houses had all succumbed to this gully, while countless others have been hanging by the thread. At Ekiwa in Ute, this old lady has already lost three rooms in an eight-room house. Fast forward to 2021, meet a retired federal civil servant who is also a landlord of one of the surviving buildings. His joy is almost unconfined as the tractors and trucks get busy fixing the gully erosion. The state of which the work has uh, progressed, I know that my house will not fall. And my family and I will come back to our home to dwell happily. Going forward, what really do the residents of this area of Igosa require from the authorities at the conclusion of the remediation? We are looking forward that upon completion of this project, the, the, the state government will ensure that they return the police station back to this place because it was strategically located to take care of this whole area between Ugbawa, between the University of Benin and Ekia Dolo, there is no other police station in this area. So we are even wishing that they will upgrade it to a division, to a full division, so that it will handle the Igwosa area, the Abomore, Isio, and all those other houses. The new map coordinator at those states, Tom Obaseki, is elated about the ongoing work at Igosa, but he insists all gully erosions are man-made. For us in those state new map, uh, we are concerned about the rate of gully formation everywhere. And uh, our studies have revealed that over 95 to 99 percent of these gullies are all man made. They were never there some years ago. So they are creation of two accelerated development and several other factors which uh, have been the impact which is uh, uh, made up of the aggressive impact of human beings against the environment. However, despite the huge intervention taking place at Igusa, there are a few other places where gully erosion is ravaging. At Iwagba, a number of houses have been destroyed by gully erosion. Here in Ekiwa, the outskirts of Benin City, this was a road leading to seven communities, including the power plant at Ihoro. As I have seen, somewhere you are already working like a place like Igosa. So we are asking you, that kind of thing you are doing in Igosa, we are still hoping that you come and do it at Ute. I beg you, my able governor. According to the International Conference on Geography and Environment, the volume of soil loss through gully erosion in Edo South is at 79,604.76 cubic meters, Edo Central at 46,242.98 cubic meters, while Edo North is more severe with about 614,706 cubic meters. Some of us have a solution.